In this lesson, we're going to graph quadratic equations in standard form. To start, I want to look at the definition of a standard form of a quadratic equation. It's y equals ax squared plus bx plus c, where a doesn't equal zero. So this is going to be your equation, and the graph will look like a parabola. Go ahead and start by graphing this parabola right here. I just want to point out a couple of things. This point right here is going to be called the vertex. And by definition, it says it's the point where the graph changes direction. So the way you can kind of think of that is going from left to right. Starting on the left, this graph is going down. And then at the vertex, it changes and then starts to go up. And I want to point out the dotted line. It goes through the vertex, and it's a vertical line. It's called the axis of symmetry. So that's going to be the line that the graph is going to be symmetric about. When graphing parabolas, we're going to identify the vertex. In order to find the vertex, we're going to use the formula x equals negative b over 2a. Some people say the opposite of b over 2a. Once you find this value, you'll plug it back into the equation and simplify to find the y-coordinate of the vertex. Once you have both values, you're going to rewrite your vertex in the form x comma y as an ordered pair. To identify the equation of the axis of symmetry, you're going to use that same equation x equals the negative b over 2a value that you found. A few more features about parabolas is you have a minimum or a maximum value for your parabola. It's either going to be the lowest or the highest point on that parabola, and the way you can find it is you look at the y-coordinate of the vertex. You have x-intercepts where the graph crosses the x-axis. We also can call them zeros or roots, so we'll be identifying those, and then we'll also identify the y-intercept, and that's where the graph crosses the y-axis. Finally, we're going to identify the value of a. a is the value in front of the x squared term. If a is positive, the graph will open up. If a is negative, the graph will open down. And then last, for graphing, we want five points on our parabola. And we'll talk about how to do that when we graph these next examples. The example says, graph the quadratic equation in standard form and identify the following. Our first example, part a, says y equals x squared minus 2x minus 3. Go ahead and set up this a, b, c chart. a is the value in front of the x squared term. So if you look at x squared in front, technically there's a positive 1. b is the value in front of the x term. So if we look right here, b is going to be negative 2, and c is going to be the constant, the value that does not have a variable. So our c value is negative 3. To find the vertex, we're using the formula x equals negative b over 2a. So I got this set up, negative, and then we're going to plug in the value for b right here. So I'm using parentheses so that I can help distinguish the negative versus the actual value. And then it's over 2a, so we're going to take a and plug it in right here. And when we simplify this, a negative times a negative makes positive 2 on top. 2 times 1 makes 2 in the denominator, and we get that x equals positive 1. Once you find x, you're going to take that value and plug it back in to find the corresponding y value. So I plugged 1 in for all the x's. Make sure to use parentheses, because then you can work on your order of operations. 1 squared is 1. Right here, negative 2 times 1 makes negative 2, and then we have negative 3. So 1 minus 2 is negative 1. Negative 1 and negative 3 makes negative 4. So our vertex is 1 comma negative 4, and I'm going to write that right here. Your axis of symmetry is always going to be x equals the x value that you just got in your vertex. So our axis of symmetry for this problem is x equals 1. Next, I want to find the five points on this parabola. Here's my xy chart, and we're going to put the vertex in the middle that we just found. So 1, negative 4 is going to go right here. Next, we need to fill in our x values around 1. So think of a number line. To the right, you're going to have 2 and 3. On the left, on a number line, you'll have 0 and negative 1. So we filled this in just like a number line around that vertex value. At this point, since parabolas are symmetric around the axis of symmetry, we don't have to plug in all four of these values. We can pick either these to plug in or either these guys to plug in. And then it's symmetric, so whatever values you get, you can copy over. So I'm going to work on these two values right here. I'm going to start by plugging in negative 1 into the equation. Make sure to use parentheses when you're plugging in negative 1 for the x's. Negative 1 squared is going to be positive 1. Negative 2 times negative 1 makes positive 2. So now I have 1 plus 2 makes 3. And then 3 take away 3 is 0. So we just got that 0 corresponds to the x value of negative 1. Since parabolas are symmetric, you can take the same value and fill it in over here under the 3. We're going to do the same thing with this x value of 0. We're going to plug it in for x. And when you do so, you get 0 squared is 0. Negative 2 times 0 is 0. And then when you add those to negative 3, you just get negative 3. So let's fill that in, plug in negative 3 right here. And again, because of the symmetry, we can take this negative 3 and also fill it in right here for the 2. Let's go ahead and plot all these points on the graph. I'm going to start with the vertex at 1, negative 4.
and there's our parabola. The axis of symmetry is x equals 1, and here's your axis of symmetry. It's x equals 1, and it goes through that vertex. For this parabola, it's opening up, so you can see that you have a minimum value. So we're going to circle minimum. Our minimum value is the y-coordinate of the vertex. It's how low the graph goes, and it goes down to negative 4. So our minimum value is negative 4. You can see from the graph, the x-intercepts are where the graph crosses the x-axis. So that happens at negative 1 and positive 3. So there's our x-intercepts. And finally, the y-intercept is where the graph crosses the y-axis, and that occurs right here at 0, negative 3. So our y-intercept is 0, comma, negative 3. This next example says y equals negative x squared plus 4. So we're going to start with an ABC chart. A is the number in front of x squared. So in front of the x squared is technically a negative 1. B is the number in front of x. If you'll notice, we don't have an x term, so B is going to be 0 in this case. C is the constant, so C is 4. And next, we're going to identify our vertex. So I set up the formula to find the x-coordinate of the vertex. It's going to be negative b over 2a. So we're going to plug in 0 for b, and for a we're going to plug in negative 1. Negative 0 is just 0. 2 times negative 1 makes negative 2. But 0 divided by anything is just 0. We have the x-coordinate of the vertex. Now to find the y, we're going to take this x value and we're going to plug it in. And right here we have negative 0 squared, and that just makes 0 plus 4 equals 4. So we have the vertex as 0, 4. Next step, we're going to make the xy chart. So here's our xy chart. I put a v right in the middle, and we're going to fill in the vertex. And like a normal number line, if 0 is on the number line to the right, we'll have 1 and 2. To the left is going to be negative 1, negative 2. Because of symmetry, we only need to plug in the values on the right, or we can plug in values on the left. This time, because the values on the right are both positive, I'm going to use them for plugging in. And I'm still using parentheses to plug in, so I took the 1, plugged it in for x. So now you have order of operations. By PEMDAS, we're going to do exponents first. So 1 squared is 1, and then you multiply that to negative, so you get negative 1. Negative 1 plus 4 makes 3. Because parabolas are symmetric, this is a 3. We can also fill in 3 right here. Let's go ahead and plug in 2. According to PEMDAS, we're going to do exponents first. So 2 squared is 4. Then 4 with a negative in front makes negative 4. So negative 4 plus 4 makes 0. And that means we're also going to fill in a 0 over here. So now we have all our points. Let's go ahead and plot the vertex on the graph. Okay, there's our vertex. And there's our parabola. The axis of symmetry, always write it out with x and then the number. And x is equal to, and it's the x-coordinate of the vertex, so it's going to be 0. Next, looking at the a value, a is negative 1, which is less than 0. Anytime you have an a value that's negative, your parabola opens down indicating that you have a maximum. And that max value is how high the graph goes. So if we look at it, the highest point is the vertex, but you're listing it as the y-coordinate. So the y part of the vertex is 4. So your max value is positive 4. Our x-intercepts, let's look at where the graph crosses the x-axis, are right here and here. So that happens at negative 2 and positive 2. So make sure you write that out, negative 2 comma 0 and positive 2 comma 0. If you want, you also could rewrite this as plus or minus 2 comma 0. Either answer is fine. And finally, our y-intercept is where the graph hits the y-axis, and that happens right here at 0, 4. So our y-intercept is 0 comma 4. This example says y equals 2x squared plus 4x minus 6. a is in front of x squared, so a is 2. b is in front of x, so b is 4. And c is this negative 6. Next, we're going to find the vertex. So I wrote x equals negative, and then we're going to plug in b over 2 times a. This makes negative 4 over, and then multiply these, and you get 4. So negative 4 divided by 4 makes negative 1. Now we're going to take this value and plug it in for all the x's to find our y value. Because this x value is negative, it's really important to use those parentheses when plugging in. According to PEMDAS, we're going to do exponents first. So negative 1 squared makes positive 1. Positive 1 times 2 is 2. Right here, 4 times negative 1 is negative 4. So 2 and a negative 4, when you combine them, you get negative 2. Negative 2 and negative 6 makes negative 8. So our vertex is negative 1, negative 8. On a number line, if we have negative 1, to the right is going to be 0 and then 1. To the left is going to be negative 2 and negative 3. Because parabolas are symmetric, you only need to plug in either the right values or you can plug in the left values. I'm going to choose the right ones because 0 and 1 are going to be convenient for plugging in. Okay, let's go ahead and plot these points, starting with the vertex.
And there's our parabola. It's a little shaky over here on the right, but hopefully you can see it. So our axis of symmetry goes right down the middle. It's a vertical line and it's x equals this x value. So make sure you write it out, x equals negative one. In this problem, the a value is positive two. That's a positive value. So this parabola is opening up. When your parabola is opening up, you have a minimum value. And our minimum value is how low the graph goes, which is indicated by the y coordinate of the vertex. So our minimum value is gonna be negative eight. X-intercepts, you can see from the graph, they occur at negative three, zero and one, zero. And your Y-intercept, where the graph crosses the Y-axis, is right here at zero, negative six. Thanks for watching, guys.